All right, welcome back. In this session, we're going to be starting to uh, create the operations to do the finishing. So now that we have roughed out the pocket and the wall, we need to now do the finishing of the bottom of the pocket and the wall itself. Okay, so first let's create the operation that will do the finishing of just the wall. So I'm only concerned right now on finishing the wall. So the walls for the islands, the walls for the and around the pocket. Okay. To get started on that, come over here to Operations, right-click on it, go to Add Milling Operation, and Profile. Okay, so come over here under the Contour, and let's select Contour 8. Contour 8 is the same contour we've used in our previous roughing uh, the pocket exercise or uh, uh, operation. So we want to have the same one selected. Instead of you clicking New and selecting all the chains uh, that we've done before, We've already done so, so and it's already saved for us under Contour 8. So we're going to select Contour 8, and then go to Tool. And let's select a 1 8 inch tool. Now I already have that over here. If I don't have that saved anywhere, then I'm going to add a new tool. Okay? So I'm going to go to End Mill, and then change that to 0.125. So that will be my 1 8 inch tool at End Mill. After you have that done, go to Levels, and then let's define the profile depth. And then click on the depth of the pocket. You're going to see that change to negative 0.5, or it's going to say the depth is 0.5. So from the upper level to the lower level is 0.5 difference. After you have that selected, let's go over here to Technology. And let's make sure that the tool side is in the correct position, so go to Geometry. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit so I can try to see where they are. So I can see my tool is outside my pocket, outside my pocket, and inside my pocket over here. Or it's still outside the pocket. Basically, you're not machining the wrong material. I just want to confirm that. Click on the check mark. And then come over here under equal steps, step down. And what that, that will ensure is that every step taken now from now on is equal. Now, I like to use this in the, in the finishing operation because it doesn't matter uh, anymore uh, it, to, you know, to leave some material over here and then machine the, the last material last. Um, and the reason I'm doing equal step down is because I am finishing. I just want every step to be equal and then finish off uh, by machining my entire profile. Okay, now under finish, let's go click on one pass for the finish. It's just going to take one pass to kill that last 5,000 that I have left. And then max step down is three. So I only need to take three steps down before I'm, I'm done. I don't want it to take more than three steps. You know, this is only a quarter of an inch. Usually, um, you know, we'll machine it in uh, mostly in three steps. You know, you can do it in two steps if you like as well with that um, much material that's on there. Okay, now that you have that selected, come over here under depth type. And I want to change that to helical. Okay, and what that, what that will do is when it's machining around the pockets or the islands, Okay, it's going to go down in a helical format, so it's going to go one step at a time. There's still going to be equal steps, but it's going to be uh, helical, so it's going to be going down the entire time around the pocket, and you'll see how that looks like uh, when we're doing the simulation. Once you are done with that, come over here under Link, and then come over here under Lead In, and select Normal to. For the normal length that it's coming in, I want to change that to 0 0.025. And that's just the distance between, uh, you know, leading in the put in the tool into your machining, uh, you know, the pocket. It's going to lead in. It's going to start out a quarter of an inch. I'm uh, sorry, not quarter of an inch, but 0 0.025 away, and then come into your part uh, from that uh, far away. Okay. So once you have the lead in, it's going to lead out before it exits the same amount. And let's click on save and calculate, and then go to simulate. Okay, so I'm going to slow it down a little bit and click on play. And there you go. So it just goes, if I slow it down a little bit more, you're going to see it come down and machine all the corners and all around the profiles. And now it's doing the pockets, all around the pockets, all that 5,000 that we've left. And then it's going to come down to the last pocket and do that last 5,000 that we've left there from before. Okay, now that it's done, click on X and click on exit and there you go this concludes our session for setting up the 
uh, profile operation to do the finishing on our wall. Next, in our next exercise, we will be doing the bottom um, of the profile because remember we left five thou on the bottom of this uh, surface. Okay, and we need to machine that before we go on machining the rest of our part.